Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. Um, welcome to tonight's webinar um, for industry professionals. We are on the Level Up um, program, and today is week 15 or 16, I believe, 16. Great. So I hope everyone can see my screen right now. Should be able to see it. And without further ado, um, we'll get started. So hi, everyone. I'm very excited to share with you um, tonight's topic of building your unfranchised business, um, prospecting, qualifying, and sponsoring industry professionals into the Web Center program. My name is Stephen Tang, your Web Center trainer for tonight. And um, by way of quick introduction, I currently reside in um, San Francisco Bay Area and have been with the unfranchised business for three years now. I've been in technology space for over 10 years, 10, 15 years, and um, past seven years, I've been in the Salesforce consulting space. And so I do work with um, industry professionals and I get a chance to interact them with, with them quite a bit. So I'm very excited to share some tidbits that I've learned when you're looking to recruit some of these um, some of these industry professionals. Okay. So when you think about the unfranchised business and Web Center, right, um, what is our main goal? Right? Our main goal is to expand distribution. And what better way to do it through Web Centers, right? Um, first of all, it's extremely profitable as I break down some of the numbers later on that you can see. But as we think about starting um, your distribution, expanding your distribution using leveraging web centers, you want to think about um, doing it the right way because when it comes to duplication, it's really the key to your success in your business here. So, um, you know, with, with any business, right, you want to do it right, you know, do it well and not with any shortcuts. So whatever you do, good, bad, or, or you know, um, indifferent, right, it will be duplicated, right? So keep that in mind. And if it's not duplicatable, Clearly, don't do it, right? So, you, you know, I get asked a lot, you know, who, who's right for this business? Who's right for a, a web center program? Well, the simple answer is anyone, right? Um, anybody that you come across can, can be a good fit, right? To be a web center owner, to be a, a web center pro, or even a web center affiliate, right? But our system is, is really built on taking business owners and, and leveraging a team of professionals. So when it comes to people that, that say, oh, I don't have a whole lot of experience in this or that, well, it's, it's a system that is simple enough that they can just plug themselves in as long as they're willing to learn, right? And of course, there's some key qualities that you want to be looking for as you grow your business here, right? You want to keep in mind the kind of person you're looking for rather than the title rather than the experience or rather than their uh, profession, right? Because, you know, a waitress, for example, with the right attitude that wants to learn and grow can be very, very successful leveraging the Web Center program versus a graphic designer that has been building websites on WordPress for 20 years and is unwilling to, you know, change their ways. They're probably not going to be a very good fit. And you'll come across some of those as you talk. So here's some of the qualities that I look for in a potential candidate, right, that I want to work with. Someone that's friendly, someone that's motivated, self-driven, organized, well-connected, and it's nice that they're in the industry as well, right? And when we say industry, we're really talking about um, people that are building websites, right? Whether they're freelancers, whether they're graphic designers, whether they're implementers, integrators, right? People that are in the um, website industry, so to speak, right? And so definitely think about the characteristics of the candidate. And isn't that you know very similar to our unfranchised business, right? Um, as you think about expanding that business too, you wanna to think about these characteristics as well. So there's a lot of commonalities there. So real quick, what is the Web Center program, right? Um, and who is it for? Again, it's really for anyone and Web Center owners have access to sell online Web Center products, Web Center program benefits, and a team of professionals. Basically, you have access to a suite of products and services that help and enable small business owners to have an online presence and to be able to promote themselves and maintain their online presence. Not having to do it on their own, but with the 
um, ability to have a team of professionals that can do it for them, right? And so that's, in a nutshell, our program. And from that, um, so that's for, that's, that's the web center program for the average person. Uh, for industry professionals, we have in the U.S. a pro program, right? So you can be a pro affiliate or a pro partner. And the main difference is basically your status with web centers, whether you want to just be able to leverage the web center to sell the products and earn retail profit and, and minimal commissions. So the affiliate has light access to the enfranchised business. Basically, you don't participate in the MPCP. Or you can be a pro partner where you're basically a full unfranchised owner um, participating in the MPCP where you're also required to sponsor one on the left and one on the right, okay? Um, for those that are new listening to this program, I know there's some uh, newcomers joining throughout um, throughout uh, this program. Um, you can definitely talk to the person that introduced you or we can talk to Jason um, and the team a little bit more or reach out to uh, the trainers. But basically, there's um, the few different levels, Web Center Owner, Web Center Pro Affiliate, and Pro Partner, okay? So thinking about the Web Center Pro, right? When you think about targeting industry professionals, what does it mean for you, right? Um, we think about, you know, what the commission looks like for us. Well, if you think about the average Web Center Pro, right, the industry professional, they can sell about one website a week, right? Wouldn't that be fantastic? One website a week. Um, that equates to a minimum of 200 BV per website. So you're talking about 800 BV per month, just for having a Web Center Pro under in your in your in your team, right? And that's not including the monthly hosting. Monthly hosting is about um, 30 BV on a monthly basis, recurring, right? Um, so if you think about sort of what's in it for you, it's a fantastic opportunity um, to grow your business and. I mean, who here wouldn't mind an extra 800 BV um, in your organization, right? Just for recommending an industry professional. So in our business, if you want to excel, it's, it's, it's about working hard, yes, but it's all about working smart. And if you can partner with one or two industry professionals, that could be the difference between a pin level or two for you and your team, right? So here's a quick slide on kind of the pros and cons that industry professionals are facing today, right? You can see a lot of the pros where, um, you know, being an uh, industry professional can, uh, what they can do for their clients, right, um, at, for themselves. But I want to focus on the cons today because that's really the pain points that you want to be targeting. That's going to be the pain points that you want to talk about and that you want to address and maybe create conversations, right, with industry professionals. You already know that they're, um, you know, whether they're uh, freelancers, that they have their own business and they're the experts in their line of field and um, they understand technology and all that. But did you know that in these professionals, same people that you're talking to, are also busy to take on new clients? Because what they do is they're trading their time for money, right? To build a website probably takes them about, you know, a month, two, maybe three months, right? If it's long with integrations. So you think about the opportunity cost to take on one client that, you know, maybe doesn't pay them as high as, as they would like means that they're not able to work on other clients as well. Right, and that's for a smaller company. Maybe a larger one might have the resources, but it all comes down to margin, right? So, are they too busy to take on new clients? Are they too small, um, right, to do that? Do they have um, uh, professionals within their organization, whether it's designers, whether it's developers, whether it's um, digital strategists, right, for digital marketing purposes, right? Do they have those resources? Are they able to keep up with the clients and their needs, right? A lot of times you hear, um, you know, clients that you sign on and say, oh, my previous developer just didn't have time for me. I tried calling them. It took them about three weeks to get back to me, right? That's very common. You hear that all the time. And that's a red flag because these professionals, right, they're busy working on other clients, right? For a support and ongoing um, uh, maintenance program, right, for, for any of these industry professionals, they're not getting paid a lot, right? 
if they charge $150 for an hour, ongoing maintenance, they can probably charge $100 an hour, right? So significantly less. So guess what? They're going to be focused on trying to get new business, right? Rather than focusing on serving new clients, which is unfortunate, right? And so at the end of the day, they are turning away business, right? Especially for graphic designers, right? Graphic designers are fantastic in what they do, graphic design. But when you ask them, oh, so when they take your designs and they host it elsewhere, do you get credit for that? Can you get paid for that? The answer is often than not, no, right? The answer is probably not. So what better way to introduce our web center program that can allow them an extra stream of income, right? So some of the pros and cons to think about and um, conversation starters, really, to be able to talk to industry professionals. So again, what is our, uh, when you target web center um, industry professionals, you want to think about which program they should belong to, right? Whether it's the affiliate or the pro partner, right? And again, just outlining some of the highlights, uh, a line of products, a team of professionals, co-branding with admin, and we do all the invoicing for them, fully customizable front end site, um, and VIP support for um, for them as well. Um, and also, uh, we provide a lot of education. In fact, I was calling um, tech support last night, and the uh, support specialist basically directed me to a bunch of YouTube videos that I can learn on my own, helping my clients out. So a lot of tools and resources at our, at our disposal. Again, here's some of the benefits right, that you can see uh, as being part of our program, being part of Web Center in general, right? You can see we have unlimited customer support, access to team of professionals, um, fully customizable websites that we can build from scratch, um, tech support, uh, updates, uh, languages that we support. All these things are, are bullet points that we can address to potential Web Center um, program partners um, and ask them, hey, do you do this? How do you do that? How do you handle this? Do you have a CRM, right? Do you have email marketing? Um, do you process your credit cards alone, yourself or, or how do you do that? A lot of great benefits that when you bring in a partner, they can, they can leverage these tools, right? Um, and so when you think about prospecting and qualifying Web Center pro partners, right, and, and industry partners, it comes down to what we've been preaching over and over again, right? Jason and Sarah, they've done a really good job revamping our program to come out with the five C's. What are they? Well, first of all, identify your leads, right? Identify who you want to target, right? Build your leads list. This is the lifeline of your business, right? Build your leads list. Then after you do that, do a little bit of research. There's going to be different tiers of industry professionals that you can target, right? You've got your freelancers, right? Ones that are kind of on their own and they do everything themselves. You know those guys definitely don't have a lot of time to build their business, right? And leads that come through, they're probably relying on um, networking or, um, or paid advertising, right? Um, you've also got sort of that middle tier where maybe it's a smaller company, maybe they've got a team of five or 10, um, and they try to go after to get more business. But for every sale that comes in, again, for every client that they bring on, it's going to be overhead, right, that they have to manage. It's going to be more resources that they need to put on for the client. And so you want to be able to do a little bit of research and find out what tier they're in, what industry that they're focused on. Are they um, focused on manufacturing? Are they focused on restaurants? Are they focused on man um, uh professional services, um, you want to know what industry they're in. So a little bit of research online, some tools um, I'll probably talk about a little bit, but LinkedIn, Yelp, um, you know, Google, there's a bunch of tools out there that you can just do quick searches. And we're not asking you to do, you know, a 30 minute, an hour long research, right? This is real quick, you know, um, a minute, five minutes, right? Tops to do some quick research on the candidate. And then decide how you want to reach out to them, right? Whether it's email, whether that's phone call, whether that's, you know, on their IG, slip into their DMs, right? Their, their direct message, whether it's Facebook, reaching out to them directly. There's going to be a lot of ways that you can reach out. So you want to find one that works well for you, right? That you're comfortable with. Um, and then at the end of the day, it's all about booking that appointment, right? Um, scheduling that 15-minute consultation so that you can ask more questions and be able to figure out whether or not 
qualify them if you want to, if you want them to be your partner or not, right? Or your client or not. This is all about scheduling the appointment and booking the appointment. And after that consultation, you say, hey, it looks like we're a great fit. Um, the next step is let's take a let's take a look at our demo, or let's take a look at our webinar, or let's talk to somebody in our organization that can talk more about the program, right? If you're not well versed in it. So build your names list, do some research, reach out to them book the appointment for a 15 minute consultation and then schedule the next appointment right our business is all about scheduling appointments so better get good at it ways to connect right so you think about you know how can i find these industry professionals where are they right a lot of times i find them in networking events at chamber events um you know, um, they're all out there, right? Especially ones that are looking to grow their business. And those are also the ones that you probably want to work with because they're hungry, they're driven, they're a little more motivated, right? Building through relationships, conversations, right? It may not be someone that you know, but someone that knows somebody, right? Similar to our own franchise business, someone, people leading to people, right? So, I mean, have you asked your best friends, like, hey, do you know any graphic designers? Or post on Facebook, hey, I need a graphic designer. You know, um, one, two, three, go. And everybody just starts in your network posting who they know that's a graphic designer, right? Uh, those are ways to kind of build a names list, right? But at the end of the day, however you do it, whether through relationships or connecting uh, a community events or the chamber or networking groups, it's all about connecting, right? And building relationships, engaging in conversation. So again, where can you go? Networking events ask for referrals, your warm markets. And in fact, one of the cool things that you can also do is leverage your own team, <laughs> right? Wow, I hadn't thought about that. Have you thought about asking your teammates in the unfranchised business if they knew any uh, industry professionals? If they knew any web developers? If they knew any um, graphic designers? Or even your friends that own businesses, right? Who did their website? Maybe you can ask them, right? So it's all about asking. Uh, asking the right questions, looking up on social media. Um, Yelp is a great place. Um, a lot of reviews. Um, you also look at Google, obviously, um, and some of the service sites. So if you've heard of Elance or Fiverr or Craigslist, these are places where the industry professionals post their availability, right, to, to get work, right? So for Fiverr, right, um, a, a developer may post their hourly rate or their projects and say, hey, um, if you want a logo designed, here's my hourly rate and here's what you can get. You can purchase this package and you get four revisions, five revisions or whatever, right? So reach out to them. A lot of them may be domestically here in the U.S., but some of them you'll also find offshore, right? Whether in India, Ukraine, Pakistan, um, they're all over the place. So you want to qualify them and make sure that they're a fit to, to work together, okay? Um, and of course, building your names list, right? Um, so important to, uh, to, to do this, right? Whether you have workshops or, um, with your team or yourself, right? You want to be able to find out, you know, graphic designers who owns their business, right? Small business owners, who do you do business with? Who's well connected? The who's who's and the what's what's, um, just to, just to name a few, um, titles, right? SEO companies, social media agencies, right? Um, in fact, um, somebody that I met through BNI, a, a networking group, um, is a uh, digital strategist. And it just so happened that I was working with a client that needed some help with digital strategy. We have all the tools at Web Center, but we don't execute strategy, right? And so that is definitely an area that um, that you can that you can leverage. Oops. Uh, not sure what happened. Yeah, that an area that you can leverage, right? Um, talking to uh, uh, networking groups and BNI groups and, and whatnot, right? Um, and uh, also sometimes when your clients uh, that you set up have needs, look for industry professionals and say, hey, I've got a potential lead for you. What a great way to start a conversation, right? And that's typically how I, how I approach um, graphic designers. So for your approach, right? Before you approach, you wanna ask questions and, and learn about them, right? Are you interesting or interesting, right? Uh, that comes across really quick, right? If you're hunting for their business versus gen genuinely being interested in them. Um, you wanna more or less expose their pain, right? Things that they're talking about. Again, this is a great way to talk in themes, ask questions, right? You're not coming in and say, hey, I, you, 
you're probably, you know, low on business. You probably need more clients. You're probably not doing very well this fiscal year. Am I right? Probably not the best way to, to go, go about it, right? Whereas if you ask, hey, how's business going, right? Um, did you hit your revenue targets, right? Um, how are your clients, right? Um, and have you thought about adding additional uh, streams of income to your business, right? Other product lines. Um, those are great questions, right? That you can ask. Um, so I, I always I always try to find out how they're doing, right? And ask uh, about how they got into the industry. So one of the questions I ask is, hey, so how did you get started in, in web design? Right? Oh, that's pretty cool. Was it everything that you expected coming to the industry? A lot of times, you know, uh, web designers go to school, they go to graphic school, um, art school, and they come out and thinking, hey, I'll start my own business. I'll, you know, um, conquer the world and, and make my millions, right? But sure enough, the graphic design work comes, yes, but the business aspect is also a challenge, right? You can find a lot of graphic designers great at graphic design, but running a business, not so much. So, um, you know, I, I always ask, hey, so you must be living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> right? Getting to know them a little bit. And then some, one of the questions I always ask, I like to ask is, so what do you see as some of the biggest challenges you're facing right now in your, in your business, in your industry? I want to get to know kind of from their perspective, what are some challenges that they're facing, right? Whether it's, hey, you know, the Wixes of the world, the Squarespaces of the world, they're a pain in my butt, right? Um, they're really taking away a lot of business. And you go, you know what? I totally agree. You know, I see that as well, right? Relate to them. Um, you know, what's the competition like in your space, right? In your area? Um, you know, I like to ask these questions to get to know them a little bit, right? Um, and then dive into their, their, their company a little bit. Do you outsource, right? What do you do when you have a client that has this kind of situation, right? Or that situation? How do you handle that? Probe a little bit so that you know how to position Web Center and our benefits, you know, the slide with all the benefits that you saw. Right. You can pick and choose. That is your ammo to say, hey, you know what? I don't know if this is a good fit for you, but there's a program I know out there that I've been using and they help me solve this, this and this problem. Would you like to take a look? Right. Um, and that's how I, I kind of get people interested to to want to talk more. So book the appointment is is probably nothing um, foreign to you guys, but pretty straightforward. You want to hit a couple key points as you book the appointment. First off, saying, hey, I only got a quick second. The reason why I'm calling is, or the reason why I'm reaching out is X, Y, Z, right? You want to say, hey, um, I know you're um, super connected in the community, right? You want to edify them. And then say, I'd love to grab coffee with you. Um, could be with or without their business partner, but you want to grab coffee and keep it. I like to keep it to coffee meetings as opposed to lunch. People ask me, hey, Steve, do you recommend going out to lunch with uh, these professionals are just grabbing coffee from me depends on your rapport and depends on how much time you want to spend with them coffees are great you know i've had 15 minute coffee meetings i've had 30 minute coffee meetings i've had one hour coffee meetings but lunch or you know that usually takes at least a, a half hour 45 minutes if not an hour right so you want to think about how much time you want to give right to them um, and then four, right? You may or may not be interested. Either way is fine with me. This is a key phrase to say because it lowers their guard and um, it allows them to not feel committed to you. And then ask, hey, can we get together to network, right? I mean, who wouldn't want to network with you? Especially these, these industry professionals, graphic designers, SEO companies, agencies, they're always networking. So don't be afraid to ask these questions. Don't be afraid uh, to approach them, okay? Um, so part of it is also, um, as, as far as an overview of uh, the Web Center Owner Program, here's um, some highlights, right? Exploring um, reasons why they should make an educated decision to go with you, right? Um, and here's just some quick bullet points, right? The product and service, profitability, they can potentially make a lot of money. The system is a turnkey solution, so they don't have to worry about building it themselves. Uh, the support that they get is phenomenal, award-winning customer support service um, that can help grow their business. And at the end of the day, it's really just showing them how they can get started so they could um, see for themselves. So you wanna get really good at um, explaining the Web Center program if you're talking to industry professionals and be able to address their pain point and also the benefits, right? Why our program is a great fit for them, right? But it first comes from understanding what their needs are, right?
At the end of the day, it's all about helping them to make an educated decision, just like how you've made an educated decision to join Web Center program. So industry professionals, just real quick, here's some tools available to you to share the plan, right? The business overview, you can share during the UBP, a franchise business presentation. Um, some highlights during the Web Center uh, for Web Centers and uh, Web Center Owner Overview or Web Center Pro Overview. So the first Tuesday of the month and the second Tuesday of the month will have um, a webinar. So you can leverage that and invite them to, to those webinars. Um, you can also leverage um, some of the tools that we have, right? Whether it's the B2B catalog, um, YouTube, or blog channels. Um, how many of you have actually gone to the Web Center YouTube channel, right? M A Web Center Official, I believe this is our YouTube name, right? Check it out, a ton of resources, right? Um, just like our audios that we listen to, right? Um, we wanna be able to be familiar with our program and what we have, right? So that you can be effective at selling it, um, and so forth. So we can also demo the website and demo the, um, you know, schedule a demo with our product specialist if, if there's a client that, um, that, you, that you wanna work with. So three ways to um, share the opportunity to evaluate at WC411. You probably saw this link, evaluate. We have an overview. There's a video that Sarah Rose does a really good job explaining um, to them. So you can point them to that video. Download the PowerPoint. Um, and I personally don't like to just give out materials just for giving it. I would like to walk through it with them so that you know they have an understanding of um, the presentation, right? Um, I don't like to just give them my presentation and, and rely on them to interpret the slides. I like to do the explaining, or I like to have the videos do the explaining. So, um, so definitely leverage the tools the right way. Right? Um, and of course, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to us trainers or Jason, uh, who does a fantastic job answering the questions, or, or even the Facebook group. Um, we've got a really fantastic and engaging group, and I really love everybody's um, participation and, and chipping in for responses. So it's really fantastic there. Cool. So another way to grow your business through the Web Center program is Web Center Intern, right? Um, I don't know about you or how many of you have heard of this program, but this is a really fantastic recruiting tool, right? Somebody that's interested in the program but not quite sure, um, this is a great way to get them sort of a foot in the door to be your intern. I like to think of this program as more of an apprentice rather than an intern, because interns, sometimes they feel like, oh, I'm doing all the busy work or all the work that nobody likes to do, right? Um, making coffee or you know filing paperwork or this or that. That's not the case. It's actually more of an apprenticeship program because at the end of the day, your goal is duplication, right? Your goal is working with individuals and interns so that they can become better than you. Right, your role as a web center owner is to mentor interns, quote unquote, which means you're basically teaching them the ropes, right? You're showing them, leading them by example, right? So that they can see themselves how they can be successful in this role and be good at web center, being becoming a web center owner, right? Your goal here again is duplication, right? So whatever you do for this business, your intern will duplicate. Right. So you want to think about the good habits that you form, the things that you teach, um, what you do, what you say. They're going to soak it all in. So be mindful of that. Um, and keep in mind, again, being a mentor to to your to your interns. Right. So thinking about qualifying and prospecting interns. Right. You can um, you can definitely have different approaches to it. Um, but using the product specialist for them is also something that's is, is very encouraged, right? Um, it not only improves their success rates, but also gives them confidence, right? And you can probably see them graduate to full enfranchise owner status more and more quickly. And it reinforces some of the duplicatable uh, web center systems, right? So remember, you know, the prospects for intern can um, cannot be existing distributors right just keep that in mind right so this is really a recruiting tool to get outside people to join join our business right distributors naturally become web center owners okay so just to make that clear okay so 
of course, once you have an intern and they make a sale, right? The logical question is, well, how much do they get paid, right? Um, some internship pro internship programs um, are not paid, and so if that's how you choose to work, great. But I like to reward my interns to keep them motivated. So um, if I had an intern, the way I would do it is, yeah, I would I would definitely give them a cut, right? But here's how here's how it works, right? When um, a sale gets made, you as the mentor, you as the web center owner, you get the commission, right? The intern really doesn't have a status, um, you know, doesn't have a nine digit, you know, code with us. So um, they don't have status with uh, web center or market America. And so we don't give them commissions directly. You get the direct commissions and you can choose to split them 50, 50 or 70, 30. However, you um, create that agreement. Keep in mind. How you do it will also be duplicated by the intern, right? By the apprentice. And so you want to keep that in mind. My goal when I have an intern is I like to basically help them save up so that they can afford the fast start kit to come in as a web center owner. So a thousand dollars will easily cover that, right? For the first sale, uh, average profit, retail profit. Uh, but if not, you can break it up maybe two sales or try to motivate them and say, hey, if you can make three sales, you can you know, be a, a web center owner already so we can s s sponsor you and support you um, in this program, right? Um, and at the end of the day, right, you're already getting the BV points. So for me, it's, I don't mind giving giving the, the profit out. Um, you can go as far as keeping the taxes that you have to pay on that commission sale and the rest to the intern, that's up to you again how you want to duplicate it, um, your, your business. But I always like to incentivize and, and give them a little bit of motivation. So you can activate the intern. You need to educate them, um, show them how to sell web appointments, how to show the plan, and if effectively, you know, at the end of the day, become a, become a UFO, right? That's sort of what it's, what it's all about. So keep that in mind as you are um, thinking about getting more interns and growing your business that way okay cool so i know that was a very very quick um <laughs> overview of industry professionals and i'll just share um sort of a, a cool a few tidbits of um you know approaching industry professionals number one um i would say best practices is Add value when you talk to and approach um, industry professionals. Just like any other business owner that you want to approach, the way I like to do it is, um, is have some value talking to them rather than cold calling or rather than going to them and say, hey, would you like an additional stream of income, right? I always like to say, hey, I've got a potential lead, right, that needs your services. I'd love to kind of find out more about what you do so that I can see if it's a good fit for my client. Right. Um, those are great, great leads, because, again, like I said earlier, who wouldn't want to have uh, more leads? Right. And who wouldn't want to be able to um, generate more business that way? So bringing value and and coming to them with some sort of incentive is, is always a great fit in the door. Right. The second tip I would say is um, really know your products inside and out. Right. And this comes down to how well do you understand the Web Center program? How well can you articulate it? How well can you show the plan? Um, and um, that's one of the things that I learned early on is practice, 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 right? Don't expect to have the PowerPoints in front of you and show up in front of a prospect, right? A industry professional and be able to speak fluently, right? Uh, you gotta practice, just like showing the unfranchised business plan, you gotta practice. So make sure to be practicing um, the plan. Um, and third, um, I would say leverage the tools as much as possible, right? Leverage, leverage, leverage. Our business is all about leverage, right? Um, and that's how you grow. There's few and far between lone rangers in this unfranchised business and a web center business. So I highly recommend leveraging the tools that we have so that you're able to um, grow your business at a much faster rate. And um, what I mean by leverage is um, using our videos, using our webinars, instead of you um, having to feel like you have to explain everything yourself. Calling your senior partners or calling a web center trainer that is willing to um, come in and, um, you know, share the, the overview, right? Um, again, two, first Tuesdays uh, and second Tuesdays of the month, we have webinars for Web Center owner um, overview as well as um, the pro program. So always, always leverage your tools.
So I'll say those are probably the, the three biggest tips that I have um, approaching this business. And so I know we probably have a few uh, minutes. I'll open it up to maybe some questions um, that some, some of you have. Let's see. Um, one of the questions, what was the website that the web developer put that they're looking for to work on specialty? Oh, so like an Elance slide, uh, sorry, an Elance or a Fiverr uh, website. Um, those are sites where developers or um, industry professionals, web, you know, web graphic designers, they go there to basically post their availability for um, people to search their portfolio and be able to find their, whether or not they want to work with them. Uh, let's see. Any other questions that, um, if you have, definitely shoot them over to Jason. Have them. Um, Jason's more than willing to answer those questions or post them on our Facebook group. And we have fantastic, awesome uh, Web Center trainers that are more than willing to answer your questions. And, um, and so with that um, concludes my sharing um, presentation tonight. And I hope everyone has great success with the Level Up program and look forward to seeing everybody at the top. All right, guys, have a good night.